Hello. Ooh, I'm stepping on a piece of paper. Don't know why, but... Okay. Today, I'm going to be doing the top ten books I have ever read. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Okay. One was hidden under there. Um, there are a couple that are series, and there are a couple that are by the same author, but, and, the first book I just finished reading today, it's a really good book, so, it, is, I have like a huge pile of books right next to me, right there, huge pile of books right there. The bottom book is like 300 pages, and um, the first book that I just finished reading from my school, and it is a really good book. It is by Jennifer L. Holm. It is called Turtle in Paradise. It's a really good book. It's about this girl named, well, Turtle. Her nickname is Turtle, and her mom works for these people, and she has to send Turtle away to live with her relatives, and then she lives with a bunch of her cousins that don't really like her at first, and then they finally, like, like her, after all, and then they get, and then they go, because they think they find Pirate's Treasure, this takes place in 1935, in the Key West in Florida, so they think they find treasure, so they go to this place, and then they get lost, because their boat floats away. Because they forgot to put the anchor down. Because they left a, like a five year old in charge of putting the anchor down. And so they get lost and then they go into a shack and then people find them. And then. <coughs> <coughs> Turtle's mom comes and then finds out that her husband stole their money and went to Cuba and then they like stay with people and stuff like that and then I think they live there. But I'm gonna tell you the last word of every book. Like the last word of every book just because I want to. Okay. So the last word of this book is it shows like a bunch of stuff, like information that you need to know the book. The last word in this book is family. Yeah. Okay, the next book is, this is a series. It is um, The Confessions of a Wannabe Cheerleader. They look like this. This is book one. This, no, this is book one. This is book two. The first one is called, um, no. This is book one, right here. This is book one, this is book two. The first one is called, um, Confessions of a Wannabe Cheerleader. I think that's just what it's called. Yeah, Confessions of a Wannabe Cheerleader. It's by Zoe Evans, right there, Zoe, Zoe Evans. And then the second one is called Pyramid of One. And these are really good books. Um, I think there's a third in the series. Not sure. I don't know. But, um. But there's two down the back. Ooh, I don't do cheerleading, but. I just have these books, so. I have my sweatshirt on for the town I play lacrosse for, but I can't show you because then they'll know where I live. So, yeah. And then, this is a series, I'm not sure if they're going to make more, but this is by Lisa Padmetro. It is the Confectionally Yours series. This one, this is the first book, this is the second book. The first book is called Save the Cupcake, and the second book is called Taking the Cake. And they're about this girl who loves making cupcakes. And she lives with her mom and her grandma, I think. And her grandma owns a cafe, and she makes the cupcakes in the cafe. And what I love about these books is that they have... Oh. 
they have like recipes in them for cupcakes. And um on the second book, I'm almost done with it. I'm like I'm on page 221 and there's 223 pages. That's what you're doing tonight, actually. So yeah, they're, they're really good recipes. So yeah. Okay. Now, my favorite author of all time, Joanne Bauer. She is more of like a sixth grade, seventh grade reading level. I am in fifth grade and I have really high reading level. So these are my favorite books of all time. I just got Stand Stand Tall, I think. Um, at the bookstore, and the first book I read from Joanna Bauer is called Close to Famous. It's also about, I love making cupcakes, cupcakes, it's about this girl who, na whose name is Foster, and she loves making cupcakes, and, um, like, her mom is dating this person that's like an Elvis impersonator, and they're chased out to Memphis, so then, they go to this place called P Culpepper, and then... And then they, and then she gets this, um, inspiration to make cupcakes and bakes. And there's this person called uh, Sunny Kroll, who's a cooking show, who has a cooking show. And she just likes to um, <clears throat> make cupcakes. And then she goes to this cafe, I think. And it's, I read this a while ago, and it's, like, all stuff like that. And then she bakes for that place, and then they do something. So, yeah. And then, the next book that I read from Joanne Bauer, this was my favorite book from Joanne Bauer so far. It's called Hope Was Here. It comes with two different covers. It's not always going to look like this one. It has this one with the... Sign Hope is here. And there's also one that has like a half eaten pie, like a half eaten apple pie on like a blue background. And then the paper says Hope is here. But this is the one. And it's about this girl named Hope, obviously. And she go and um, she and her aunt, because her mom doesn't really care about her, she and her aunt go to this place in. Uh, they go to New York City. Wait, no. They go to Wisconsin, and then they find this person named GT who has leukemia, and then he owns a cafe. A lot of these books about cafes. Hmm. He owns a cafe, and then um, Hope starts work there as a waitress. And then after that, because on the cover they name the cafe Hope was here, because um, it says in the book Hope always writes little notes that say Hope was here just so she can, um, have, like, her past with her, so they named the restaurant Hope Was Here after her, and then this one I loved, but not as much as Hope Was Here, it's called Peels, it's also by Joanne Bauer, it's about this girl <laughs> named, <laughs> the name is really funny, Hildy Biddle. Leave in the comments say that you laughed that if when I said that name. And then there's the, she's a journalist, and then everybody starts. The, they're all like shocked that there's they think that there's a ghost in the town, and then she has to try to find the truth, um, by thinking there's a ghost without making anybody like making some people nervous, think that there is a ghost. So then. Like, rumors go around, and then, finally, in the end, something good happens that I kind of forget. Um, and then I got Speak Up, which is about this boy who named Tree, who is really tall, and he's still growling, and I don't know what happens after that, because I just read the back. Then there's this book called, um, The Boy on Thinman Street by Phoebe Stone. It looks like this, and it's about this girl named Louise Terrace. And she does, like, gymnastics. And she gets a secret admirer. And then... 
um, the boy tries to, like, actually talk to her, and then finally they, like, do something I don't remember. But it's good that I don't remember, so that you, I don't give all the secrets of the story away. And then, this book, My Grandma's Friend, My Grandma's Friend's Daughter wrote this, and what was kind of funny was that my grandma's friend, her name is Mary, and her daughter that wrote the book is named Mary. So, this book is by Mary Sullivan, and it's called Dear Blue Sky. It's a pretty thick book. Um, but it's about this girl named Cass. Well, her name's Cassie, but everybody calls her Cass. And her brother, um, Seth, I, yeah, her brother Seth goes to war, and then she's all, all scared that, um, she's all scared that her brother's gonna get killed, and that he's, or he's gonna come back with less legs or arms that he has now, and then he's not gonna really, like, live, and so, and then there's, like, her little brother Jack wants to go with Seth because she doesn't want to leave him, and so, um, he doesn't go, but Seth goes to war, and, again, I'm not going to tell what happens at the end. So, those are my top ten books I have. All oh, my top ten books right here. Most of them are a fair amount of thickness. So, they're not all wicked long. Dear Blue Sky is 248 pages. Boyan's Cinnamon Street is 234. Peels is 248. Hope was here is 186. Close to Famous is 250. Taking the Cake is. is, is, is Two twenty-three. Saving the cupcake is two twenty-nine. <sighs> Confessions of a wannabe cheerleader is. What did I say? Oh, two twenty-six. I'll do all the book names and the authors in the description box. Down below. Wow. Description box just blew up. It did. Ah. And oh, uh, Pyramid of One is and what I love about the like the page names of these books page numbers. Well, this book has 203. What I love about the num like the numbers is that it because it's a cheerleader, they go like, "Give me a N, give me an I." And so look at it goes give me this is page 198. It goes give me a 198. And I, 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 I just think that's hysterical. And for, um, Turtle on Paradise, it is 180, wait, 170, no, 180, 85 pieces. Including like the information in the back. So, yeah, and I hope you like this video, and I hope you read most of these books because they're really good books. And oh, I wanted to show you one thing with Dear Blue Sky. This because it's my grandma's friend. I got the author signed it, so I have something special about it, and. There's this book called Because of Mr. Tourette by Rob Bouye. 
and he's coming to our school to do a project with us, um, because she wrote the book, so then, um, I'm gonna get it, and he's gonna sign my book, so, yeah, I'm gonna have two books that have signs in them, so, bye, see you in my next video.